Hey, how's it going you guys? It's Blake from the Blakeman 9 here. I really hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic video that I put together just before this tutorial. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what you think about, uh, you know, the new shaders mod of 10.1 and all that crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and figure out how to install shaders on the new 1.7.2. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and open your web browser and you're going to want to go to this page right here. I will put it in the description and what you're going to find is the shaders mod updated for 1.7.2 so what you're going to want to do is actually download the beta for minecraft 1.7.2 so you're just going to go ahead and follow this link that he shows you and you'll come to an ad fly page and you'll just go ahead and wait for this to complete and you're just going to go ahead and click that and download this file to your computer Okay, so after you download the shaders mod, you're going to want to come over here to this page of Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. These are screenshots from the new shaders mod. So what you're going to want to do is go down here and install the SUSE V10.1 Preview. So when you click that one, it will also take you to an AdFly link. So you're just going to go on ahead and wait for that to allow you to download. Then you can hit the skip add button and there it is it looks kind of sketchy but this is the official one so just go ahead and download that so the last thing that you're going to want to download to make this work is minecraft forge so i'll put this link also in the description this is probably the most difficult to read link actually out of everything so what you're going to want to do is click on 1.72 latest which it what the hell Okay, so the last thing that you're going to want to download in order to make shaders work correctly is Minecraft Forge. This just makes it a lot easier for you to install shaders. So just follow this link that will also be in the description and go ahead and click on 1.72 latest. That will be this one. You want to make sure that you click on the installer because that is obviously much easier than having to extract it yourself. So after that's done counting down, you can go ahead and click to click there to continue. Then you wait for yet another add fly link so you're gonna go ahead and want to keep that and so there is the jar itself alright so I have all the files here right now so the first thing you're gonna want to do is install Forge. so just go ahead and double click on here make sure that you have a pretty new version of Java I don't really think that should be a problem if you're able to play Minecraft but that's just something to keep in mind if you're having problems so you're gonna want to make sure that you install the client and have this correct to the folder that your Minecraft is set in. So go ahead and click OK and it will install it. So it says successfully installed into launcher and grab zero required libraries. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is install the shaders core mod. So go ahead and copy that and go ahead and type in run down here and you're going to want to go and type percent app data percent. So when you press enter you'll see dot Minecraft on the top here and just to make this easier, I'll slide this over here and this over here. And we're going to want to put the shaders mod into a folder called the mods. If it's not already here, you can just make one. Make sure you have no capitals. So just go ahead and copy that in there. And you, as you can see, it is already in there because I had it there before. But um, there you go. So you have shaders mod installed. So the last step in order to get shaders to work the way that you saw in my video is you're going to want to install uh, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod. So you're just going to want to go ahead and copy that. And just like we did last time, you're going to want to go into your .minecraft folder. And you will see something called shader packs. Or you may have to make this folder as stated before. Make sure you have no capitals. So go ahead and you can paste that in there. Since I already have it, copy and replace. So there you go. You now have shaders installed. Now after you have everything installed, you're going to want to make sure that when you start up your launcher, you select the Forge option in your profile. So you're going to want to go ahead and click play, and you should be able to see Minecraft running normally. So we see the Mojang logo, and that is a good sign. That means that Shaders is working properly and that Minecraft is starting up. So after your Minecraft starts up, you're going to see a bunch of writing everywhere. So you can just go ahead and ignore that. That's just because it's a Forge beta, so it's just kind of just giving you a warning. So after that, you can just make up uh, any kind of world that you like. I have the one that I made the video on called uh, Big Boo Thang. So we're going to go ahead and open up that world. And let's go ahead and take a look if we installed this correctly. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there is shadows and a bunch of crazy light effects everywhere. But there's one thing that is missing. That is that we don't have all the fancy clouds that were seen in my video. We kind of have like these weird black crazy things and they're kind of spazzing out because I got a HD texture pack on. 
So um, let's go ahead and figure out how to fix these gigantor, nasty, disgusting things that nobody likes. So first things first is you're going to want to go ahead and quit out of Minecraft so that it does not conflict. And you're going to want to go into the actual shader pack right here and unpack it. After that you're going to want to open up this shaders folder and open up composite.fsh. Now the easiest way to do this is with a program called Notepad++. Now if you don't have this already, I will yet again leave a link inside of the description. So what you're going to want to do is search for calculate clouds. You can search by typing control F on your keyboard. Now first of all you're going to want to make sure that you spell clouds correctly unlike I did. So let's go ahead and search for that. And when you search you should be able to find this right here. Calculate clouds inside of final composite.rgb comma surface. So you see these two slashes in front of calculate clouds. You're going to want to go ahead and delete those two. Hit control S to save and close this out. So when you see this, you're going to want to say yes, close out of this, okay, that's the wrong button, close out of that, and go ahead and reopen your Minecraft. After your Minecraft's back open, you're going to want to go ahead and go back into your single player world or your multiplayer world, if that is your preference. And once you get back into this world, you will see that the clouds are finally here. So you also have these gigantic ugly things still here as well. So what you're going to want to do is go into your video settings and turn off clouds. You're also going to want to go into shaders, make sure that your text minimum is by nearest nearest. Your new block breaking is on true, cloud shadows are false. This will make it so that your graphics just look the best as possible with little scratching or fragments. So yeah, there you go, that's how you install shaders with the clouds, the new 10.1 preview. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.